The Fed's data driven vials of a sticky inflation. Welcome to today's in depth discussion where we analyze recent Federal Reserve activities and their substantial ripple effects across global financial markets and domestic policies. We'll explore the nuanced signals from the Fed contrasted against the backdrop of mixed economic data and their implications on market dynamics and investor sentiments. In a recent development that left many analysts and investors puzzled, Federal Reserve Chair Jay Powell exhibited an unexpectedly dovish stance in his commentary following the Fed's policy announcement. This approach stood in a stark contrast to the contents of the policy statement itself, which suggested a tougher stance on inflation, particularly noting the stagnation in progress towards the committee's 2% inflation target. Here we have the tre two-year Treasury uh, bond yield in April uh, 30, May the 1st, when we have the Federal Reserve um, uh, talk, and then uh, you can see how after the, the talk, the, the yields carry on falling down, meaning that bonds prices increase. So, the market reaction after the Fed steady states Reacting to Powell's dovish signals, the financial markets experienced a brief period of optimism and reflected, uh, this was reflected by a decrease in interest rates and a rally in stock prices, though these effects were somewhat transient. The subsequent economic data, particularly softer employment numbers, seem to validate Powell's cautious stance, leading to the first simultaneous weekly gain for the Standard & Poor's and Treasuries in over a month. On this slide, you can see how the Dow Industrials and the Standard & Poor's and the Nasdaq increase during the speech and they drop back again to previous levels or below the levels at which they began. Interestingly, uh, the Fed said that it's unlikely that the next um, a committee there will be a hike. The economic indicators in terms of conflicting economic signals have been increasingly contradictory. For instance, while labor costs surged significantly, indicating potential inflationary pressures, wage growth reports just day after uh, later suggested an, an easing on this front. Other economic measures present a similarly confusing scenario, with rising retail sales just a box against a, a slowing GDP an increased industrial production despite a manufacturing slowdown. The chairman, uh, uh, Powell, um, delivered remarks that shed light on a strategic, measured approach to policy making, advocating to um, advocating for a careful balance between reacting to immediate economic changes and maintaining a steady course towards long-term objectives. His statements underscores the complexities of interpreting economic data in a way that supports sustainable growth without triggering unintended negative outcomes. So, I believe that Actually, the Fed did know a little bit about, or if not everything, about the job report that was going to come on last Friday, after May the 1st. 
So in general, we have that the Powell's perspective on economic conditions are in a steady course and on an, an, an environment of mixed signals. The Fed's policy decisions are far-reaching, impacting not just the U.S. economy, but also setting a pace for global monetary policy. The shift from global economic integration uh, to some more fragmented trade policies with China and, and many other uh, places in the world, countries in the world, requires a, a re-evaluation of traditional monetary policy frameworks. Here on these slides, emerging economies are particularly sensitive to shifts in policy as their financial stability often hinges on the predictability and stability of the U.S. In this figure, we show the impulse and reaction responses after one quarter from panel local projection models with fixed effects and robust standard errors to real shocks and reaction shocks. The orange whiskers on this slide um, reflect 90% um, confidence intervals. Output here on this graph is real gross domestic product. Consumption is real private consumption expenditures and investment is real gross fixed capital formation. The differences in the types of uh, U.S. interest rate shocks extend to their effects on economic activity in, um, uh, in um, the emerging markets and developing um, markets. These uh, reactions of, of the emerging markets are associated with significant decline in the emerging markets investments and private cons consumption. In contrast, real shocks lead to higher real exports. So there is a very big uh, uh, difference between real shocks and reaction shocks, as you can see here. Shall we dance the song and uh, buy treasuries? Well, we know that we have a stable interest rates, a mixed outlook, and a, a perhaps potential volatility. As we delve into the current economic environment shaped by the um, Federal Reserve policies, a critical question emerges for savvy investors. With Treasury yields hovering around 5%, does it make sense to buy U.S. Treasuries? This decision is particularly compelling given the evolving macroeconomic policies and the uncertain economic forecast. From a modern economic perspective, higher Treasury yields in a context of cautious central bank communication suggests an attractive risk-reward ratio for investors. This is good if, if we want to invest or if someone wants to invest in uh, treasuries. These yields significantly high, are significantly higher than in recent years and provide an opportunity for portfolio diversification and risk management, especially in times of economic uncertainty and inflationary pressures. However, the attractiveness of these yields must be weighted against the backdrop of modern monetary theory, which emphasizes that the government's capacity to fund deficits through money creation, potentially leading to higher inflation, such as in the United States, generate conditions that could erode the real returns of fixed income investments over time making this 
the decisions to invest in treasury even more complex. Indeed, we have a, um, a government in the United States that is uh, actually funding all their fiscal policies with uh, more debt. I think um, it would be a, a good to illustrate the relationship between Treasury yields, inflation expectations, and federal rate decisions over the last decade to highlight the correlation between fiscal policies and market responses. Investors must also consider the role of international economic dynamics. With the U.S. potentially entering a, a phase of reduced globalization, wars, and increased economic nationalism, uh, and the weaponizing of the dollar, there are many implications in terms actually of a, a capital and dollar, and consequently, treasury securities could be significant um, in terms of uh, portfolio volatility. These factors add layers of complexity to treasury investment decisions as global economic shifts can influence U.S. interest rates and yield trajectories. In today's economic climate, understanding the interplay between fiscal policy, central bank actions, and global economic trends is crucial for investors considering uh, treasuries. The modern economic approach advises a careful analysis of not just current yield GL rates, which are very nice, <coughs> very uh, high uh, historically, but also we need to consider the broader fiscal and monetary policies and their long-term implications on market stability and inflation. Ultimately, the decision to invest in treasuries at the current yield levels should be aligned with a strategic view of both macroeconomic condition, um, our personal investment goals, and uh, perhaps as well some financial uh, um, uh, fundamentals in terms of uh, where are the <clears throat> prices or yields of bonds. While current yields offer a tempting income stream, they come with the need for vigilance against potential economic shifts that could affect future interest rates and inflation scenarios. To wrap up, the Federal Reserve Recent actions underscore a delicate balancing act. Navigating through a patchwork of conflicting economic signals to foster stable growth and manage inflation effectively. As we proceed, the ability of the Fed to adapt its policy framework in response to both domestic and global economic changes will be crucial. Stakeholders across the economic spectrum must remain vigilant and adapt adaptable, ready to, uh, ready to respond to the evolving economic narrative shaped by these complex uh, policies. My reflection in terms of investment then say that we need to be Re ready for a change in the economic uh, narrative in either way, in um, a dovish stance or a hawkish stance, but I believe is um, personally for my investment goals a very good moment to invest in treasuries. Okay, thank you very much. Please do not forget to subscribe.